if I made the world's smallest resident computer? Thrice, no, actually. But I've, have you ever looked at one of my computers and thought to yourself, I wonder what this would look like if it was a binary? Well, wait no longer. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm CT5K, and today we're going to be taking a look at the polar differences between hex and binary. When I decided to convert my hex PC to binary, there were two things I wanted to happen. One, that it be as identical as possible when it came to operation, and two, that it be as small as I could make it. So, on a note with that, I went ahead and began converting it into binary. I went over and used the 4-bit ALU that I found on Nubasaurus's channel because it is super compact and has become my go-to when I use an ALU for a binary computer. Then I completed the ALU by adding this NOT gate to recreate the same ALU used in the RPC-1. Papa, CT5K, can't this ALU do more? Why yes, yes it can. Unfortunately, the RPC-1 can't, which is why there is a gaping hole in the build. After that, I created the memory units using a solid state design that I had built myself and wired them all together just like they are in the RPC. Then I created the decoder using a design I saw from a Matt Batwings video. I connected the decoder to the rest of the computer using some of the worst busing known to mankind. After some testing, I get to show you guys the monstrosity that is before your eyes. So here it is, I will be calling it the BRPC, which is short for Binary Redstone Personal Computer. It operates more or less the same as the RPC-1, but there are some stark differences besides the obvious one, which is size. Here is a comparison between the hex form of the RPC-1 and the binary form of the RPC-1. The numbers work the same, but instead of using a single hex bit, we are going to be using four binary bits. So if we wanted to have the number one, we'd have to flick this and have 0001. If we wanted the number 10, then we will have 8, no 4, 2, and no 1. So 1010. 0, 1, 0. As for the decoder, it still has the six functions of the RPC1, but they are wired a little bit differently. Giving a value of 001 will allow you to set the second register. An input of 010 0, 1, 0 will allow you to set the first register. An input of 011 will allow you to wipe register 3. If you give it a signal of 100, it will wipe register 1 and register 2. If you give it a 101, then it will not register 1. And giving it a value of 110 will add register 1 and register 2 together. So like in the RPC1 video, I will be showing a simple addition program. But before we get to that, I want to talk about today's sponsor, which is no one because I'm too small to get a sponsor yet. So I'm just going to say subscribe, So I will give these numerical numbers the value of 1. So we have 0001, which in 4-bit binary is 1. Then we will come over here and give it a value of 1 or 1 in 3-bit numbers. And then we will allow this program to run and set the second register to the value of 1. Then we will come over here and change this to 010, run the command again, and then both registers will be set to the value of 1 as you can see right here. So these are just 4-bit registers that we can use for manipulation later on. Now that is done, we are going to give it a 110, run the command, and if you look at the top, you will see that the 2 has been set, meaning 1 plus 1 is 2, which, I mean, I'm not like a math expert or something, but I'm pretty sure 1 plus 1 equals 2. You know, shockingly enough, this computer is only 2,400 blocks larger than the MPLC-1, the first computer ever to claim the title of smallest register computer. And while it seems like a lot in the world of binary computers, <laughs> that's nothing. So you might be thinking to yourself, why on earth would I ever go for binary when I could just use hex and have it be so much smaller? Well, the benefit to binary is that it is so much easier to tap. So like I said earlier in the video, Nubasaurus's ALU can do a lot more than just adding and notching, but in hex, that's a lot harder to do. You see in this hex ALU, you can only tap a not gate and not 
an AND gate or an OR gate or an XOR gate. Whereas in Nubasaurus's ALU, it's a lot easier. As you can see, I believe this is the AND gate right here and this is the XOR right here. So while binary is a lot larger than hex, it is a lot easier to work with and it's a lot easier to tap. As you can see, while binary has its perks, if you want to go small, then go hexadecimal small. <laughs> Please subscribe for these jokes. If you want to see what I've been able to do with Hex, then make sure to check out on the video on your left. It is a showcase video covering the Hex form of the RPC. If you have enjoyed this video, then do make sure to subscribe. I am the most active Redstone Hex YouTuber, and you can't find this technology anywhere else on YouTube. Anyways, that's it for today. I'm CT5K. Now let's get to changing the world.